Good morning, this is TCR, TroyCommunityRadio.com. I'm Clint Byers on 1071 WTJN. Time now to head into the Mayor's Report, and with me this morning is Mayor Michael Beamish. Well, Clint, it's good to see you. It's a, you know, as we uh, do this show, uh, it's a blue sky, so oh, that's a great time. Absolutely beautiful outside. Uh, the electricians downtown taking down the Christmas lights out of the trees. Yeah. So uh, everything is moving forward to Operation Spring. Think spring, and I'll tell you, you know, even with blue skies, you may have cooler temperatures, but it just seems warmer. It seems more spring-like. Well, the and warmth of the sun on your skin. That's true. It does make a and difference. And it gives us a chance to, to look at the forward, and there are some things we can do to prepare for the spring, summer, and fall. Well, just like uh, spring cleanup that's going on at the cemeteries, uh, we're getting ready to... Well, truly, that kicks off at, uh, right now. Yeah. At, We're uh, asking everybody, both at uh, Rose Hill and Riverside Cemeteries, if you have uh, uh, decorations, uh, to pick those up, take those away. And that's the way can, they can do uh, spring cleaning of their grounds and prepare. And by April 1st, we'll be uh, inviting people to, to bring back those uh, graveside decorations. It's just a month. And that'll give those guys out there plenty of time to get the cemeteries whipped back into shape and ready for uh, the spring decorations, like you say. That's just one thing that we can think spring about. Well, uh, another thing that we can think spring about is the Dye Mill Road facility opens ah. Monday. That's right, March 5th. It doesn't seem possible. We just closed it in December, but now here it is uh, in March, and we will be opening March 5th. The hours of that will be 11 to 7 o'clock. In fact, that will be open on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and Friday. Wednesday is the only day uh, that we're going to be closed, Wednesday and Sunday, of course. Okay. Uh, they'll be closed. Other than that, we will have uh, workable times where people could, are doing their spring cleaning, both outside and inside, can uh, use the dye mill facility, and it must be a Troy resident, I want to say that, but it's open, and that's an extra service that goes beyond our regular trash recycling pickup. And now that's a place where you can take, uh, say you pulled some shrubs out from yeah. around the house, or, right. or whatever of these spring storms have blown down out of the trees, uh, maybe you still have some leaves that you need to rake out of the flower beds, you can bag those up and uh, take those out. If you get a pickup truck or any kind of uh, vehicle that can get that things to the dye mill, that's just an extra service that we have offered in the Troy community for years, and um, it just goes and supplements the regular trash pickups recycling day. All right. Now, uh, speaking of some of these spring storms that we get, sometimes we get some wind and things, oh, yes. uh, I, I'm hoping that we don't have that much of a problem now that we have with the recycle cans have lids and uh, the trash cans too have the attached lids to keep those down but uh, every once in a while you do get one that blows over and maybe you got some trash that blows out we need to get that and make sure it's picked up so it doesn't blow all through the town well, you know, sense of community is working together. That's yes. what community is all about, is working together to make our uh, community uh, proud and beautiful looking. And this is the time of year where we do see a lot of litter, not along the, you know, on sidewalks and yards and, and on the roadways. And, and as Jerry Mullins, our street foreman, always says, 98% of the folks that drive through our community are very uh, caring, concerning, compassionate people want to keep our community looking very good. But every now and then we get the throw and goes. And uh, yeah. that blows into yards, it blows onto sidewalks, it blows into curbs, and uh, that's where it, it can detract from what our beautiful Troy community is all about. So I guess my message is to, you know, if you see something and think safety first, uh, you know, and have gloves and have bags. And But you mentioned it earlier, we do have those recycling bins, we do have those trash bins that have lids on them. 
if you can just pick up things, or if you have something, a wrapper, hold on to it, get home, dump it in one of those recycling or trash bins, uh, you, you just help the community out in the pride of our community. Now, I know with the warmer weather, too, you and Jenny get out and you do walking. We and, do. And I also know for a fact that while you're out walking, you're picking up. We do. We, uh, it's kind of a wellness activity, but also a community pride activity. We usually have, to, if you see us out walking, I have these little picker uppers, and Jenny <laughs> has the rubber gloves. And I, I say that because that's the safety part right. of always picking up litter and trash. You want to know what you're picking up. We have two bags. We have one bag for recycling. Now, those are the cans, the bottles that we would see in our route. And then we also have the uh, wrappers. Uh, uh, cigarette packs. These are things that we see a lot of. We put in, and then we have two bags. And when we get home, we have two bins, and we just drop them in those bins. And that's something that my wife and I have done, and many people have commented on that. But I would like to invite others. Uh, to do the same thing in their neighborhoods. Uh, and I know downtown's got a project. You may want to share that. Well, that is uh, with Troy Main Street, and that is their green team. It's going to start the end of March, and uh, what they're going to get groups that come in, and uh, that they'll all take turns and going through the downtown and uh, cleaning up and, and truly all working together. Not so much like it's teams, but I know the Mayor's Youth Council is going to take part in that as well. We uh, just last week we had a Mayor's Youth Council <coughs> planning session where we looked at what's good about Troy and what could be improved. One of the things that they also mentioned is we need to have maybe in the downtown area more trash recycling bins so people People can place the trash and um, uh, also cigarette holders. Now that so. would, I think that would be nice in the downtown. Uh, while smoking isn't what it was 40 years ago, I'm still in one of those, ca the category of, of smoker, but I take pride in my community. I cannot, in, in good nature, ever throw a cigarette butt on the ground. Uh, wrappers, all of that go in my pocket, and then I empty my pockets out into the trash can. When I see those cigarette butts down on the ground and where someone's just thrown their cigarette packs, um, I, I kind of want to see what their house looks like and, and what kind of a mess they're living in. Well, Clint, I won't get into that because I don't <laughs> want to talk about ours, but we are non-smokers. But still, if everybody would just take the pride of picking up and placing, we're going to try to look at getting uh, better uh, receptacles uh, and uh, even including uh, cigarette holders where you can put your uh, cigarette or butt and put it uh, out in it or put it in, drop and it in be there. safe yep and be safe but I like the green team that the Miami or uh, Main Street organization is coming up with and yes you mentioned about our mayor's youth council we talked about that and they all would like to participate in being a part of that cleanup now I, I always caution everybody to be safe first safety first so you want to wear the right equipment either have picker uppers I call them picker uppers <laughs> or you want to have sacks or you want to have rubber gloves or all those uh, so that when you pick up things you're not uh, you're thinking your safety as well as a cleanup team uh, which uh, I, I'm just happy to see people out uh, taking pride in their community and uh, it's just an opportunity right now it just seems like from the winter you know, we things, always get this right after we the always winter do and so if everybody part of their uh, spring cleaning would take a little pride in their uh, walking around their neighborhoods um, we will do our share too with trash recycling pickup and dye mill facility all those things work together as part of a good community I will say yesterday with uh, or in this past week with the nice weather I've been out walking my yard and I've been picking up you just see the paper and didn't necessarily see it from the house, but getting out in the yard, well, you got stuff wadded up, maybe something against the fence, 
uh, behind some leaves. And, and with the wind, you got sticks. Yep. So we've always talked about that. And we'll have J Jerry Mullins, our street foreman, come in uh, towards middle of spring and talk about some of the things that he's seen out there. But I just want to preempt and say, think spring uh, with this blue sky. And if you see things that shouldn't be on the ground, uh, just pick them up. It, when you do that, you add to the value of a good community. Absolutely. Uh, what it does for your neighborhood and what it does for the downtown and Absolutely. when people are in from out of town to look at it, it's clean and it's nice. That's that's all we care about. Uh, talk about uh, some of the folks that are keeping it clean and nice. Now, there are quite a few of the lawn companies that have been taken care oh. of, like out by the interstate and I know the courthouse as well, uh, and they're involved. Uh, yes, and, and there there is a group of business and industries who takes pride as they prepare for the, the spring and summer and the look of our community coming into our community. I, I will also say that we've had many of our uh, developments and our c uh, construction outfits. They also, when they see litter and things that have blown into areas, they they also I've I've heard that they also are doing the cleanups. So it's a, it, again, we wrap around and we say to make a good community, it takes a lot of good people, and uh, we're all in this together. Absolutely. Uh, you've got uh, council coming up Monday? Monday, we do, and they'll be uh, on the agenda. A uh, number of items for uh, council's discussion, and of course, we invite people to come to the public. I always tell her if you have concerns, uh, bring with them some solutions so that they can uh, debate and discuss and, and deliberate on those things before they make decisions legislatively. It's always easy to complain about something. It takes some thought to come up with the idea that uh, you could put forward that might fix a problem. But everyone's different and everyone has different ideas. And yep. One of those ideas might be the answer to a problem. There you go. Mayor, thank you so much thank for being you. here this morning. Thank you. This has been the Mayor's Report. I'm Clint Myers on 1071 WTJM.